first. A sigh of relief after suspicious items evacuated a building in downtown San Diego. Tenor's reporter Rena Nakano is live downtown with what the officers found. And Rena, this happened at a time when the whole country was already on edge. Absolutely. There's certainly similarities with a lot of the things that happened around the country. Suspicious boxes being left right here, which is the home to the San Diego Union Tribune, as well as housing the office of Senator Kamala Harris. The San Diego police now figure out who placed the boxes here. Now, around 815 this morning, a passerby flagged down a police lieutenant and told him about five priority mailboxes that were stacked on top of each other on an outdoor table on 6th and B. Police immediately evacuated the building and surrounding businesses while their bomb squad x-rayed the boxes. Now, they found no addresses or labels on the boxes, just some random writing on them. Now, we spoke to a Union Tribune reporter who was unable to get into her office this morning. She says in light of current events, she's not shocked something like this could happen. We've seen some some different tragedies in, in newsrooms around the country. Um, so I don't think that it would be a 100 percent surprise for any newsroom to face something like this. But, uh, you know, it's not something I expected waking up to this morning. And it is not clear what or who the suspect's target was, if there was any. But in the end, in about an hour and a half, officers found there were no threats. They found the contents of those boxes to be a shoe, two children's books, a football, an empty chips bag, and a hat. Back out here live, San Diego police investigators say there is a surveillance video of a person leaving those boxes at that table at around 1.45 this morning. Unfortunately, they say that they can't quite make out the person's face. However, they are working on the investigation. Now, coming up at 5 o'clock, I will show you how that lockdown in this entire area affected a lot of the businesses. Reporting down here in downtown, I'm Rena Nakano. Send it back to you.